Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I'm sharing a Dollar Tree haul. It's not a huge haul, but definitely items that I thought that I would need when I get to crafting. A big thank you, like from the deepest part of my heart, a big thank you for everybody who has stuck around on my channel, who does look for my videos. I know that crafting videos are the main source of my channel and I haven't been posting a lot of them, but right now I have a whole lot going on. Um, things that I don't really feel comfortable talking about, but everything is fine with my pregnancy. Aria and Alex are doing well. Things have just been a little difficult for me. It's just been an intense 2020, which I'm sure it has been for everybody, but just thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I say that in every video and I just, I can't really say it enough, but I'm sharing some Dollar Tree finds and I do have craft videos coming. But let me start with the items that I saw in stores, which I thought were really cool, but I didn't buy. I found these Wet n Wild gel liners in different colors, as well as these little trinket trays for brides. I thought these were really cool for a gift set. And then they had more of the floor mats. I'm sorry, this is a little close up. I originally filmed this vertically. So they had different patterns. And to me, these are a little thin, but you can always cut them out and use them as wall art. And this was really cool. It was mesh tubing that looked like rope. Okay, so to the items that I actually purchased, this was probably my favorite purchase. I know it's not expensive in actual stores, but Dollar Tree had these little Elena of Avalar, Avalar shoes. So it's a little Disney TV show princess. The reason I think this is so cool, this isn't in the costume section, this is in the toy section, so it's not meant to be a costume, but there's a lot of costumes from Dollar Tree that you can pair with this that would work beautifully. Now these do come in just one size, but I'm pretty sure that's how they come in regular stores anyway. I think they usually sell stuff like this at Walmart and toy stores. Now this year I haven't bought any costumes from Dollar Tree because I think I fully stocked up. Last year I did a little like costume try on with Ari, but I did get some new Halloween stuff that this is the first time that I had seen them, which are these little hands. I don't love the color of them. I would probably paint over them. They bring 10, but they remind me of a little hair clip that I bought a long time ago. And I definitely feel like you can make them into that or you can put this on a wreath, whatever you want. But this is the first time that I had seen these little hands at Dollar Tree in the Halloween section. I bought more of these little mini skulls. If you saw my Halloween videos last year, you know that I turned these into a little tray. I've used these for a bunch of crafts and I'll link some Halloween videos below. I know Halloween is not for everybody and if you're not into it, you do not have to watch. Trust me, I do not get offended if you do not watch my Halloween videos. I'd prefer that you don't if you are not into it because why would you, you know? So these little skulls are amazing for crafting with and I think that this year they're a little sturdier. I remember one year you could just like squish them with your hand. They're pretty hard this year. This I thought was really cool, but I think they've had this before. They're LED projector lights and they come with different lights. This one has a skull, so it'd be really cool to hide into a pumpkin. I don't know if you can do that and reflect this on a wall. We will try this out and see how good, how big you can get this reflection. But this is a skull. I think they had a little house. I'm not sure. This is just the one that I liked. In that same section, I found this folding LED lantern. This is really pretty because you can put a little light in this and it would look absolutely beautiful. I'd probably skip the little paper part, but for a quick decoration, this is really cute. I liked it. I don't know about it. And one more thing, and you don't have to use this for Halloween. This could be used all year round, depending on your decor, are these little glitter branches. Spray them with hairspray. Spray them with hairspray. Because just holding them right now, my hands are already full of glitter. These are black and have little hints of purple. But look how pretty they are. They do have these in different colors because they have Christmas ones that are white and gold. Spray them with hairspray. That is the only advice that I can give you. So that is the last high, oh, just kidding. I have one more item and I purchased this last year as well, but I just think this is so cool. You can add to it or take away. Uh, it's the Halloween garland and it has a little ghost, pumpkin, 
that. So cute for Aria's Playhouse. I was gonna film a video of me decorating it for Halloween last year and it was just way too late into October and I regret not posting it. It was just really cold <laughs> last year so maybe we'll do it now since it's just Aria and I at home all the time since she doesn't go to school now. So we'll see about that. Found this weaving set at Dollar Tree and I know these are for sew-ins. I'm not stupid. I used to get sew-ins all the time when I used to relax my hair way back in the day. But the reason I bought this is because if you notice in a lot of my videos, I use upholstery needles, which are the needles that are much larger in size so that you can fit um, upholstery thread or baker's twine. So for a dollar, you get three needles that are pretty similar to upholstery needles. So for crafting, this would be really great to pick up. Also that thread, the thread that you use for sew-ins is pretty strong. So using this for crafting as well would be amazing. And you're getting it for a dollar. I don't think they're more expensive at beauty shops or beauty stores, uh, but either way, the fact that it's a Dollar Tree, I know that they have another, I don't think, they had something else which was for hair extensions, but if you can use something for crafting, why not? In the crafter's square section, I finally was able to find these little mini palettes. Now I found the larger flat ones, which that I've made into a little welcome key holder thing. But these are the perfect size for coasters. If you don't wanna spend the dollar on them individually, you can make these with popsicle sticks and Jenga pieces. But I really do recommend these. They're nice, they're sturdy. You can paint them, stain them, use them for whatever you want. And this is the first time that I've purchased a wood item at Dollar Tree where everything is the exact same size. Usually when you buy wood cutouts, they tend to be a little off, like they don't match up with the other piece. So this is really nice if you have a project in mind and you need them to be exact. I'm not saying all of them are gonna be exact because you know how Dollar Tree is, but for the most part, these have been pr pretty, pretty good. Since Arya is staying home with me and she's not going to daycare or pre-care, whatever you want to call it, I bought a lot of these little uh, paints. This one is acrylic, but they do have tempera or tempura. I'm pretty sure it's tempera paint. I love this color. It reminds me of that goldenrod color that I used from Target, which I ran out of. Look how gorgeous this is right now since everything is boho. That very burnt yellow, almost orange, is so in. So the fact that Dollar Tree has a color like this and it is a non-toxic, water-soluble acrylic paint for arts and crafts, cardboard, wood, yada yada yada, is perfect. Wait, also good for screen and block printing? I didn't even know that. So if you have a Cricut or if you do screen printing, try these out. Let me know how it works for you or I might, I don't know. This is nothing new to Dollar Tree, but they always have the most random ones and they sell out quick, which are these little planters. I was looking for the turtle. I had the fox last time and I found Sammy the Sloth. He's so cute. And then I also found Norris. Norris is a little whale. Whale? Yes, Norris is a cute little whale. You can either keep them their original color or paint them, drill a little hole at the bottom so that you have a drain hole. I don't think, no, these definitely don't have a drain hole, but I really do enjoy them. This was a cool find and I'm pretty sure it does not match my skin tone, but they have the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion SPF Foundation. This one is in Honey Beige. Now, I've tried Wet n Wild products before for foundation and usually they end up looking a little oompa loompa -y on my skin because they tend to run really red. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be any different, but for a dollar I was like, why not? So I'm gonna open it now. Yeah, I can already tell that's a little intense. They didn't have a huge color selection at the one that I found it in, but when I went back to Dollar Tree to pick up some batteries, I know that they had a lot more. So, oh, oh, that's not, that's not good, but that's not bad. I'm actually pretty impressed. So the inside of my hand obviously is lighter than the outside. I would still say this is a little too dark for me, maybe or maybe not, oh my, stop it. Did I just find a foundation shade? Did I just find a foundation shade? No, 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 just kidding. 
you know what? I think I'm gonna wear it during my next video and see if anybody notices. If I look like an Oompa Loompa, y'all can let me know. If it looks good, y'all can let me know. I'll see if it oxidizes on my hand. But uh, SPF and a dollar, that's pretty cool. But it also means that there's a possibility that these might be discontinued if they ended up at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree stuff, usually what ends up happening, it's stuff that didn't perform well in stores. They're not expired yet, so they send them over to Dollar Tree. Or sometimes they'll send items to Dollar Tree that haven't been placed in stores to see how well they perform. But I've seen that in stores forever. Ooh, I really like this. If you've tried this, let me know how, let me know how you feel. These magnetic hooks are everything. The hook on itself is really sturdy because it is metal. It's not plastic, it's not anything. And the magnet is really strong. These are really heavy. I buy a lot of magnets from Dollar Tree and they just end up sliding down my fridge or sliding down whatever I have them on. But you can totally feel how heavy and sturdy these are. This is wonderful. If you have a locker and you just wanna ha hang additional stuff, amazing. By the way, how are y'all doing with back to school? Do you like the idea that schools are open? Do you not like the idea that schools are open? What's going on in your neighborhood? Because in mine, you kind of have the option. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't know, because once it gets cold, I feel like everything's gonna shut down again. I really hope not, but that's how I feel and I'm stressing out just a little bit. Next thing I found, and this was right by the cash register, that doesn't mean I'm done, but this was right by the cash register, is this first aid kit. This isn't the only kit that they had, but it's the one that I thought I would need the most since I do a lot of traveling, not that I'm doing any traveling now, but it brings scissors, Q-tips, little tweezers, which are not very pointy, bobby pins, bandages, multifunctional knife, cool to keep in your car, it's a good idea. To keep in a travel bag, it's a good idea if you're going on a cruise. Look at me talking like people are living a regular life. I found these New Year balloons. This isn't the first year that I found these, but I found them because I've been on the lookout for the boy-girl balloon. When I had my gender reveal, I was on the hunt for those because I really wanted to do a gender reveal slash baby shower decor video using Dollar Tree. And I wasn't able to find them and honestly I'm kind of not really mad at it because it was a very last minute thing to even have a gender reveal. I might still do it but Dollar Tree doesn't really, I'm Dollar Tree, YouTube doesn't really push videos like that. I just posted the stork pinata slash duck pinata and it didn't really go anywhere, it doesn't suggest it or anything like that. So I don't know if people are just genuinely not interested or YouTube is just not letting people know. But if you do want to see a baby shower sesh gender reveal type video, let me know. I could just do it for fun. I just like doing videos like that. So I have the new year one. I found Merry Christmas before. Uh, Dollar Tree has a ton of really cool ones now, which are unicorn, mermaid, so many cool things if you're having a themed party. I also bought these little things because I was going to make them over for the gender reveal. I didn't, you know, I bought boy and I bought girl because I was hoping I would find the boy-girl balloon, but these don't compare. Let me know, have you seen the boy-girl balloon at your Dollar Tree? I haven't. Then in the cleaning section, I found the mop head and this. I bought these for crafts, but honestly, so many crafts that I had in mind have already been done using this that I'm just gonna kind of skip it. Unless I come up with another craft idea, this will probably just be used on my floor. I've heard pretty great things about the Dollar Tree stuff, but what I love the most about their cleaning, cleaning products is that they're interchangeable, so they sell everything separately. You can use a stick and attach it to like, a thingy. I, I just love that they're expanding their cleaning section. I found these real wood pieces. I've been on the lookout for more of this particular one. So this one says wild at heart. I don't care about that. What I love is this print right here. And I know I could just buy the rest of them and just like Cricut or stencil um, something like this on there but I really just want all of them <laughs> to make my life easier. And I have only found two of these. I have found some other patterns and other colors, but I really like this. This is real wood. I wish Dollar Tree would put like a detailed description of stuff on their 
packages but they don't and that's okay so that is it the rest of the stuff is not really all that exciting it's like this is the most exciting thing, which is a butter dish, which I have shown before. But I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're on the lookout for. Let me know how you are feeling. How is your 2020 going? And I will hopefully see you on the next one. The next one will be a craft video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much.